So what's your favorite place to eat? Recently on one of the social media sites, there was a list of what were considered to be the 14 best restaurants in Hagerstown, Maryland. So Bob, what's your take? What Was that list your fav represent your favorites or do you have another list? Uh, yeah, that, uh, don't get me wrong, there were a couple on there that, uh, that I like, but uh, a couple that were left off that I like. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, I, uh, um, I'm a steak and potato guy. Texas Roadhouse would be like one of my favorite places to, to go. Um, you know, I uh, love the crab pretzel down at Bulls and Bears. So that wasn't on the list either. Right. So, I mean, those are those are two of the re Apparently, I don't have good taste. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I've heard that about you. Colin, yeah. what, what say you? Well, I, and I would agree with what Bob said. I, I, there's a number of restaurants on the list that are very, very good, uh, such as Mango Grill, which is one of my personal favorites, and Cafe Del Sol as well. Uh, there are also some pretty glaring omissions. I think uh, Ty Zap downtown on the square is pretty good, um, as well as Benny's Pub over across the street from Barefoot Bernie's is a great uh, brewery and, and restaurant. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of others that uh, I think deserve to be on the list, 28 South being one of them. Absolutely. That, that pizza in there is to die for at 28 South. And I never expected to get a good pizza there, but it is unbelievable. Well, so, some what of say the new, you? Well, some of the new ones aren't on there, and, and maybe that's just a, a product of time. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the runway uh, out at the airport mm -hmm. uh, has, has a wonderful selection of, of alcohol. And, and see, I haven't, I haven't been there yet. Yeah. I, I, I want to well, get there. But I haven't been there going. yet. Yeah. And, of course, our, our good friend, we're not supposed to mention names, so I'll just, I'll just use his initials, Donnie Hoffman. <laughs> and uh, has opened a, a restaurant up on off 81. Uh, right, up near the, up near uh, up near City Hoffman's uh, All American Grill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and and I tell you, the food and the service there is wonderful, and they're not on the list. All right. right. But one of the other things that that I'd like to point out uh, is is I ran off the the 14 uh, restaurants that were listed on a on a Facebook. Well, I guess we're not supposed to say Facebook, but on a social media site. Uh, and then I went over and just Googled top restaurants near Hagerstown, and, and there were like seven or eight other lists. Right. Uh, and I ran off one uh, from TripAdvisor, right. which doesn't even really... And if you go to Yelp, you'll get a separate list. Well, you guys know that I like to have lunch at 28 South. Oh, yeah. Because I like their fish and chips, and you know, I don't get the bread or anything with the fish. The fish is delicious. Sure. I, I love the fish, so... I tell you, some of the old staples, uh, that's what bothered me uh, a little bit with all of the lists uh, on the couple or three lists that I ultimately ran off uh, is our good friend out at the uh, airport inn. Yeah, He's it's not it's there anymore. Inn, right. And, right. Uh, and I remember when, when we first moved to Hagerstown uh, all those years ago, um, the airport inn was it. That's I mean, where that you went. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't get in. Yeah. You, I mean, you know what I really like about Hagerstown, though? And if you look at this list and if you look at some of the other lists, and there are some chain restaurants on it, and I like a chain restaurant every now and again, but I like the fact that we have all of these little mom and pop shops, for lack, lack of a better term. You know what we're really missing, though, in, especially in the, in the core of Hagerstown? I think in Hagerstown, period. Not to, not to take anything away from the Island Garden, but, you know, we need a good... Italian restaurant that serves homemade pasta sauce and yep, yep. I mean you know the kind of things that make you because uh, every once in a while I, I do have a longing for some skitty and yeah, yeah. you know I, I just I just can't find any place I like it from. Sure. Cafe Italia. Up, uh, I mean if I don't make my bacon spaghetti at home I, we don't eat but it. But Cafe right? Italia is more like a, a pizza shop and I yeah, love the food yeah, there. Yeah. We go there often. Yeah, it's very yeah. very good, that's good exactly, pizza that's but it's it doesn't have that feel, like kind of like the old Rocco's, if you remember. Yeah, ex that. uh, that's exactly right. I and mean, Rocco's we used to go was, to Rocco's when it oh, was. Oh, that was yeah. outstanding. Yeah. We used to get exactly. We used to live right down the street from there on yeah. Jefferson, and we used to get takeout and oh, yeah, often. Yeah. I remember. I'm uh, I not remember, but I noticed uh, on on a couple of the different lists that I printed off, there was a really interesting one, Aleko's to go. Mm -hmm. uh, right, Aleko's. Uh, I, I got to tell you what, place. if you get a sub from there, and if you aren't full when you're done, well, that's yeah, right. there are, you, you, you are an, a, a, a bottomless pit. I'm telling you, they put so much meat and, ah. I'm, a, I'm an old West Virginia boy, so I probably don't pronounce it correctly, but a Giro or a Guy Giro or a, a Giro. Giro or what, what, they're wonderful. They are uh, very, very good. Absolutely. I, I remember our days in Chicago, and, and that's a staple up there in the Greek mm -hmm. community in the Chicago area. And, 
and Alecos to go does a does a very fine job. And interestingly enough, they were on both uh, the lists that I that I ran off. Another one that kind of surprised me was uh, not that there's anything wrong with their food. Uh, uh, in fact, when it's one of my wife's favorite is uh, Chick Fil A was <laughs> was on. <laughs> Yeah, on uh, both of the lists. <laughs> and I'm a chi I'm a Chick Fil A fan. I could yeah. eat lunch there, you know, often. But I'm not sure it's in the same league with uh, Schmunkel Stube and Cafe Del Sol and and some of these others that are on this list. Well, like I say, we got uh, we got to throw out to to absolutely chain my restaurant. Favorite. Be happy. Sure, my favorite. Yeah, and again, good I, chain yeah, restaurant. And, and they're they have they have great food. They they they're they're team there. Their team workers are friendlier than any oh, of the other word. fast food joints. Yes. Period. And uh, you know that's purposeful. That's that's not by accident. But uh, so you know what, Bob? What do you look for in a restaurant? What what are the things that draw you back? Is it all about the food? Is it all about the service? Uh, you know what I mean. And and you can have bad service at a great restaurant. There's no doubt. And I've experienced that. Trust me. But um, I you know I I think it's all about what your tastes are. You know, one of the things that I said about downtown, when a restaurant would open in downtown, I would say, you know what you need to have? Believe it or not, you need to have a good Demonico, a nice big baked potato, a good house salad. I uh, said, so you have those three things, I'm eating in your restaurant four nights a week. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what I, I look, because I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I'm, you know, I'm getting up there in my age, and I'm not quite as old as Art, but, you know, I, I like what I like, and so sure. I go to the places that I, they, I know have what I like. Absolutely. Well, I've got to put my plug in. That's a, before we run out of this segment, uh, my absolute favorite, and, of course, I'll get kicked out of, of my second and third and fourth and fifth favorites, but of course. Uh, Charlie uh, Sekula and the, and the Schmackle Stube. Uh, the Schmack Me Stupid. Schmack Me Stupid. If you love German food, you, you, that's the place. And you, if you, you love German gonna, beer. You are not going <laughs> to believe this, but a long time ago, and we're talking 34 years ago, the best prime rib that I ever had that I, that I went back time and again for was at Richardson's Restaurant. Okay, I can I can go back I'm pretty close to 34 years. Yeah, I'll agree I, with I you. mean that was yeah. the best. Cause we you know we because and I, I had had prime rib and other places after, and I was just like, oh, this is nothing like Richardson's. Yeah, I, mean, it's I, just I don't disagree. Place. Well, let me tell you something else that's not like Richardson's: Bitcoin. <laughs> and while yeah, it has nothing tasty. to do with restaurants, that is what we're going to be talking about next. So stay tuned because we're back in three minutes. They use Bitcoin. They use Bitcoin.